Welcome back. And as soon as this happened last night, I knew I had to lead off today's video with this sequence. Here's how it goes down. We're on impossible difficulty. We're out of time. All my squad mates are dead. No reinforcements available. And the bugs have completely overrun the upload data objective. I mean, it's looking really bad. I'm never going to make it to extraction, which, by the way, is a bazillion light years away. So I just scream YOLO and go straight in to finish up the terminal. And to be honest, I was just mashing direction here but somehow I completed the code and we lived to fight another day I mean talk about epic welcome to the channel it's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and moments like this is what makes hell divers hell divers and it makes it so damn good speaking of which we've got a new major order with some twists to it there's news from the bot front messages from the devs concerning how the game moves forward plus some interesting posts from the community Thank you so much for your awesome and continued support for my Helldivers content. Remember to hit subscribe and to ring that notifications bell to receive my upload alerts. Both of those are extremely helpful to the channel. And here comes the latest with Helldivers. Kicking off today's rundown is the Superstore, which, by the way, still has the Clinician and Ravager body armors for the next 20 or so hours. Also, today's daily or personal order is super simple. Just kill 25 hunters. Oh yeah, with pleasure. Which, by the way, if you drop into any bug mission, should take you all of a few minutes, if that. And once done, you've got an easy 15 medals. Next up are the major orders, and I first want to apologize, but IRL duties took priority yesterday, and if I had posted a video, I would have first shown you that two major orders ago, the medals have now arrived, totaling 55 for completing that task. Now for me, that took a full 24 hours after completion before I finally saw them. Which brings us up to the last major order to hold the bot advance versus the factory striders over on Marfark, and at this point, I think that a lot of us are looking forward to thawing out a bit, if you know what I mean. I've been slogging through the deep snow and blizzards for a while now, and the Striders were insane to deal with. I mean, they were epic, but you know, it's time for something just a bit different. Unless you specialize in bots, and if so, there's always Martal, which at the time of this recording is nearly at 86% liberated. FYI, just watch out for the foliage, and remember, weapons can't shoot through it. Now, the latest dispatch from Helldivers HQ shows two new transmissions arriving simultaneously, the first of which relates to the Marfark bot campaign. Major Order 1. The Automaton invasion fleet has been repelled. The bots committed much of the reserves to this attack. Even the large-scale deployment of the Factory Strider could not break the resolve of the Helldivers. The situation remains dire. The automatons still illegally occupy vast swaths of our territory, but with this victory, the Helldivers have won the opportunity to turn back the tide. So, there it is. Confirmation that our defensive line strategy has proven successful, although the bots won't give up that easily. And like I mentioned earlier, Martel is still inching closer to liberation in case you still just want to crunch on some more bots. Expect the 35 medals to arrive in the next 24 hours, or at least that's how long it normally takes for my rewards to arrive. Of course, as one battle ends, another begins, and we are being pulled over to bug territory for our next major order, which should make some of you very happy as you are loyal to the Terminates. Wait, that's a traitorous statement. I meant you are loyal to destroying the Terminates, and hopefully the Ministry of Truth will never see this video. New major order, thanks to the valiant and unceasing defense of the Helldivers, a robust defensive line has been established. This is likely only a temporary respite, while the bots refit in preparation to break through our defenses once more. Yeah, you can count on that one. We now have the opportunity to refuel our war effort. The defense effect depleted our E710 reserves. In order to allow for a counteroffensive, the Helldivers are ordered to manually produce terminated corpses for conversion into E710. So very interesting how this all ties together, right? As on one side, we held the automatons, but that effort has now depleted our fuel reserves. So 
It's all about killing bugs and harvesting those kills to make E710. So what does this look like in terms of the major order and the galaxy map? Well, here it is. And this is one we haven't seen before because this is a six day campaign. That's right, you are correct. Six day campaign. So this is gonna finish up, what's that, midweek next week? And that sounds like a lot of time and it is, but look at what the task is that Joel has now thrown at us. No planet liberations, no defense campaigns, just keeping it easy, slaughter bugs. A metric crap ton of them. And I know the number looks funky because it's missing all the commas, but that kill count is two billion bugs. That's billion with a B. So we've got our work cut out for us, Helldivers. And this one will pay out 45 medals once complete. Just taking a quick dive into the planet view, and I wanted to first mention that we've finally finished up 4E Prime, and that one's been dragging on for a very long time. So that leaves us Istanu, which is currently in a 24-hour defense campaign, Oshani, and Hellmire. Yay! And since this is a kill count major order, any of these planets will do. Just dive in, start racking up the body counts, and extract when you're ready. Jumping around to the different mission types and that highly popular evacuate high value assets, you know, the gated tower defense style missions are here. And that's a really cool mission with target rich environments all compressed into a pretty short time period, just waiting to be conquered. Also, a quick observation, but since there is no mission type, there is no objectives other than kills, you don't need to worry about difficulty either, since XP and liberation percentages are not a part of this one. Dive into whatever difficulty you want and go for max carnage. So it's a greatly simplified major order, but don't be fooled, that's a big number to hit. Hence the six days to complete it. So to all you Helldivers out there about to hit Bugsville, I know it's been a while since we've been spilling oil for weeks now, but for this major order, the chaff kills really matter. Translation, bring in stratagems that inflict maximum casualties. For instance, the orbital laser. And don't sleep on the guard dog rover either. I know sometimes it can be a real pain in the ass, especially when you're running one direction and it is locked onto a target on your opposite side. So it just tries to fire the laser straight through you or one of your squad mates. But when it is behaving properly, this thing can really chew through the targets and net you a ton of extra kills. You know, try it out. Let me know in the comment section below if you like using it because I love this thing, even with the wonky aiming and how it sometimes cuts me in half. Final topic for today is Helldivers, Arrowhead, and how this game and team moves forward into the future. Now, for the record, I enjoy the hell out of this game, no pun intended. But with each and every new content drop, we're starting to see more and more bugs and technical issues creep into the game. And the topic was raised over in the official Helldiver Discord about the dev team at Arrowhead, along with a question about the new content team and the bug fix team being comprised of different team members, to which Spitz, associate community manager, actually responded that it is in fact the same team members making the new content that actually work on those bugs. The nature of the bug fixes depends on the department. For example, the Democracy Detonation War Bond just recently went live, and let's just say for this example, there was an issue with the Eruptor, which there isn't. But this means that the weapons team who designed it would also be tasked with fixing it, which in theory takes them away from creating new content. We also saw this ask of the community when Arrowhead ran some of their recent polls asking new content or fix the bugs, with, of course, new content winning out. But, you know, that bug fix option was not far behind. Now, ideally, we want both, right? And in a perfect world, that's what we would get. But this dev team seems to be relatively small and still wrestling with her massive commercial success. I will say that with the last major order and the factory striders, my monster PC rig was struggling to play the game. Even last night at extraction versus the bugs with all hell breaking loose, I was seeing 30 FPS. And by contrast, before this last patch, I would normally never dip below 60 FPS even running at full badass ultra settings in 4k fix the bugs bring out new content on an almost weekly basis i mean that's a tough balancing act on one hand if you don't bring out new content you're gonna lose players if you don't fix the bugs 
you're going to lose players. And ideally, Arrowhead just crushes both because we all want new content. We love how the studio shadow drops new items, enemy types, and equipment into the game. But we also need those major gremlins handled. I've been reading your comments. I share in your joy and I share in your frustrations. And hopefully, Johan, Arrowhead, and the rest of the team can handle both with equal resolve. Let's go ahead and call it here for today. I mean, we've got billions of bugs to drop. Remember to hit subscribe and to hit that notifications bell to receive my daily upload alerts. Both help out the channel and both are free. All my socials can be found in the video description, including an open invite link to my ever-growing Helldiver Discord community. Just hit that join button and join our nearly 7,000 other members spread Manage Democracy. A huge thanks to the nearly 219,000 of you legends out there that have already hit subscribe. I appreciate your awesome support and I depend on it. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer signing off.